Oh, wow, you need to play Layers of Fear. It's not all that long either. A great atmosphere. I get, definitely got to do it then. The gameplay was a nice change, but it wasn't tense enough in ways I wanted it to be that makes sense. It does make sense. Resident Evil 4 is kind of a goof. It's like a spoofy kind of... Because all the lines of dialogue Leon says and some of the bad guys, they're like really over the top and not even B-horror movie. Or they're, they're trying to capture that B-horror movie feel of Resident Evil, but they're doing it in like this super serious, uh, super interesting, like already toned and layered game and the, the the two clash and i think that's what doesn't work for me on resident evil 4 i still like playing through it and i would rather play resident evil 4 than resident evil 6 um but i i feel similar to what you feel on that um i think the remake and 4 were good games just not games for me i hear you neko i hear you the remake now i love i love the remake but i'm i, I feel you on the other one um on four Um, oh, well, uh, I've been playing it, and oh, dang, Seek, that game. Oh, really? That good? Merry Christmas, guys. I'm good, Seek. Oh, dude, awesome. Um, Arabian, thank you for being here. Merry Christmas to you, too. Happy holidays to everyone. Happy New Year, too. I know we got a, a new year coming up. Anybody got any um, resolutions, New Year resolutions? I know. Yes. I can't carry this because I have, uh, I have this. How do I get the, I get, what? I'm gonna leave this. Yeah, I don't need the shoddy right now. It's kind of Billy's thing. I don't even know if I'll give it to Billy. I think the grenade launcher is good enough. Um, yeah, we gotta reduce space because... We got to do a lot of shifting back and forth with items in this one. Um, agreed, Neko. Resident Evil 1 through Code Veronica are B-horror. Oh, definitely. And, and like good B-horror, you know? Um, all right, I need a nap, Grifter says. Grifter, see you guys tomorrow or the next. Hey, definitely, Grifter. Thank you again for the twenty-four ninety-nine subscription. Thanks for all the love. Uh, everything you do for this channel, dude. I really appreciate it. Everybody, send Grifter some love. Wish him a Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas to you, brother. Take care. Get some sleep. Enjoy that nap. Get a few hours of sleep for me, because I'm pretty sure I'm I'm going to be... Uh, I'm not going to be able to get any tonight, most likely. I'm going to try, though. I have, like I said, I have three videos I'm going to edit. I've, I, rec I recorded three YouTube videos. Each one is a different... It's like a Venom vlog Christmas episode. Um just a regular channel update Christmas episode and then a Gotham City Bricks Christmas episode. Um, but, uh, yeah. I don't even know if I'll post them all because we kind I kind of got, uh, I kind of did what, t like tonight we looked at all the, pr the gifts and presents. <laughs> um, yeah, add green and red has mixed to form a stripping agent. All right, that's what I need. There we go. Now we got that. And then I think we give this back to Billy, right? Yeah, I think we give that to Billy. Um, RE4 is sci-fi horror movie of the week. Oh, for, for sure. Uh, yes, good night, Grifter. Happy, happy. And merry, merry. I streamed that first hour of Layers of Fear yesterday and was glad I was by myself because, oh, there was cursing. <laughs> Probably going to finish it tomorrow. Well, if you stream it tomorrow, I'll check it out. I'll check it out on your channel. Stripping agent, hey? Oh, don't get any ideas, X-Force. <laughs> Merry Christmas, Grifter, Joe says. Joe, thank you for the love. Um, nah, more like 50s B-Horror. I wouldn't really call Evil Dead B-Horror either. Just low budget. Oh, that's true. Yeah, yeah, low, low budget horror probably is... I do like me some Evil Dead. Ash vs. Evil Dead, I, I own season one and I loved it, but I have not, I have yet to play uh, or see season two of that show, but I really like season one a lot. Um, Chalmy says, I was about to say. Now you should play Layers Blind. It does make a difference. Okay, all right. Uh, 
John Lee, I will support your channel in some other way then. <laughs> uh, all right, let's switch to Billy Billy Gumdrops. Ooh, it's a leech. Um, Kevin's been playing, well, he's out of town now, but before he left town, he was playing, um, the new South Park game and it looked phenomenal. I'm not even kidding. I watched him play for like maybe like 10 minutes. I didn't want to spoil it because eventually I do want to get that for this channel. Um, Stay back. Okay, good. Oh, that's awesome. <laughs> They're like all pouring down the screen. Um, no, I'd love to play a game as Ash Williams. Oh, there was, a evil, there was an Evil Dead game. I think it was called Evil Dead 4, Hell to the King or something. It was on the Dreamcast. And I loved that game. I loved that game. Um, I, I think I saw like two best friends or someone streamed it recently on YouTube and I was like I gotta re I gotta watch that stream because that game was fantastic like Hail to the King was so good so 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 good oop story time um, Billy Billy Gumdrops is how I will refer to him from this day forward Joe says um, oh my god that would be a great game John Lee says I don't want to stop you from watching but there are things that can be spoiled a bit by watching someone else play it the discovery is part uh, the best part of Layers of Fear alright fair enough um, that, no, that's totally cool I'm sure John Lee's okay with it also yeah I was told that this game will mess you up and so and so far it's been accurate uh, Neko is right blind is the best way to immerse yourself let me go on this journey alone <laughs> okay <laughs> well if any one of you out there have, has seen that game played through already Feel free to watch John Lee tomorrow and support her for me. I'll at least host you, John Lee, um, and I'll just, uh, you know, have you on in the background with no sound or something while I, or low sound while I um, write or edit or something. Um, the Dreamcast. Oh, yeah, that Forgotten System. Hey, actually, that was the first system I bought with my own money, so I have a really deep connection with the Dreamcast. That was the first system I saved up um, all my, my own money for, I think I was like 16. I was working at the time and I was every paycheck. I literally bought myself nothing like maybe except like f f food here or there. Um, but, uh, but that's it. I would like, if I got like a $150 paycheck, I would put a hundred dollars of it away. And I'm just like, all right. And so like three paychecks later, I had enough for the system. And I think maybe it was three or four paychecks. It took me. So it was like two months. I think it took me to get it. Um, and what I did was I got the game and uh, the, the system and a game called Blue Stinger for it. And I think Blue Stinger was like this Resident Evil knockoff. Like I said, even Countdown Vampires, I played all the knockoff survival horror games. And uh, yeah, so I was like, like, oh, Blue Stinger, a Resident Evil style game for the Dreamcast. I'll get it. Yeah. Yeah. And it went as bad as well as you expect. The game, the game was... I think people have fond memories of it because it was like, hey, it's a halfway decent game at launch for a system. So I think people have fond memories of it for that reason, if you have fond memories of it. Um, I I'm kind of 50-50 on it. I was kind of like, ah, all right, it's a launch game, but it was like better than your average launch game. Um, I still have two Dreamcasts. Ooh. Uh, wait, I always wanted to play the Evil Dead game for DC. I had the game and loved it, but never had the funds to get it when I was in high school. Uh, never forgotten you uh, hush your filthy mouth x forts. <laughs> no. <laughs> I'm sorry, wait a minute, John Lee. Yay, lurk mode, work mode. I still have two Dreamcasts. When did you start strumming finally? Oh yeah, she's been streaming for like a, probably a month now. Um, she's been, she played with Borderlands too, was the one she first played, and then um, Tales from Borderlands. And Oh yeah, she hooks it up, man. Um, I need to turn on my notifications. What the fuck? Yeah. Where you been, Joe? Um, a while? I remember Blue Stinger. It was a bad RE in space. Yes, that's what it was. 
That's a, pretty much exactly what it was. Also, yay, Echo. Oh, Echo. He's sleeping. Um, I, so we don't want the green agent again. We already have the green agent. So we need to get her the blue uh, chemical, which we will get downstairs. <laughs> Joe, no, don't cry, Joe. Here we go. I think this is a room full of hunters. Nope, this is just zombies. We need this stupid thing. I think the one thing I'll probably never do with this game again is ever play it from the start where you actually have to get ammo because this game is pretty stingy with ammo. Um, you, I don't, I think you can, I'm sure you have to use the knife a couple times. I think you can kill everything in this game, um, you know, with, with what you get and stuff, but, uh, but you have to use the Molotov. I mean, you have to use everything to get through this game. And it's just a headache that's not worth it. Because I really don't care for this game too much. So when I play it, it's like, all right, infinite weapons or Wesker mode. Like, I'm going to do one or the other. Or both. Um, oh, yeah, the red one. Okay. All right, so we got red here. And then I think later we find a blue one. And we mix those and create battery acid. Joe, come hang out with me while I continue my breakdown in Layers of Fear. Uh, Neko says, Dreamcast had some classics, though. Shenmue, Soul Calibur, Code Veronica, Grandia 2, Skies of Arcadia, Street Fighter, Third Strike, The Memories. Grandia 2 was on the PS2 also, X-Force says. I, um, I had, yeah, I think it was. I, I didn't have a, I mean, I had a PS2, but, um, I didn't, uh, yeah, I did have a PS2. I, I had a lot of games for it, but the Dreamcast, I had a ton of games for it. Um, like I said, that was the first system I bought with my own money, so I really like took care of that thing um and i really like <laughs> i can't remember what happened to it that's the bummer it's like i feel like i either gave it away or or i sold it or I, I can't remember please tell me you're on fine okay good i still have a herb too so that's pretty much why i carried it because she is like you know she's one little hit she's she's down but we're about to go in this room with hunters i'm like i better have a herb on me or else it's not gonna go well Uh, it's on PC now, too. My point is, uh, you make it sound like the Dreamcast was the only system that had it. Uh, hey, all right, calm down, guys. Uh, X-Force. He, he didn't make it sound like that. He was just listing off games he liked on the Dreamcast. I don't think he was saying that. He was listing off games that were only on the Dreamcast. Oh, shit. Oh! Okay. Whew. We only got hit once, I think. Maybe twice. All right, we got the dial. Yeah, I don't think he meant it that way, X-Force. I think he was just listing off games he liked uh, on the Dreamcast. That's all. Turn around every now and then. Uh, I kind of feel like I should mix that herb. Oh, you know what? There's a... Uh, there's going to be a health spray in here, actually, I think. I was going to say, I'll go down there and get the health spray, but I don't want to go in too many rooms. I want to try to get through this part. Um, do you unlock? Oh, we got to go. No, we got to do this. We got to do this stupid thing. Oh. All right, let's mix these. No, no, that's not what I wanted to do. Oh, yeah, I got to give Billy the dial. Stupid me. We do got to go back anyway. Okay. I got to go put the dial because Billy needs it to open the door down there. Um, oh, stupid. Stupid. 
I've seen, I think one time I saw someone speed run this game and it was remarkable because the amount of item management you have to do between the two characters and the passing back, like you have to just not waste any time. You have to know exactly what to do. You got to count your steps. You gotta, it's like, it's insane. Like speed, speed uh, runners are very talented people. But when I see someone speed run this, I'm always like, what? Because I've, I've sped run Resident Evil 3 before. I feel like there's a lot of people that speed run Resident Evil 3, but to me, that's one of the easier ones to speed run. Now, I never got anywhere near, like, whatever the record is, like 40 minutes or something. I never got anywhere near that. Like, no way in hell. Um, so there's still talent, obviously, involved. But I just feel like that game is is so linear and straightforward and not too, too much backtracking because you're running through Raccoon City. You don't return to a lot of places in that game where you keep moving forward. Whereas in games like this, it's this room, then this room, then back to this room. It's like, it's such a science um, that I just, I ain't, I ain't good at it. Uh, Jami says, I got a lava lamp from my brother, which is either a great gift or the biggest you're a hippie signal ever. <laughs> I think your brother's trying to tell you something, Jamily. But that doesn't make you a bad person. Hippies need love too. Hippies need love too. What do you say in uh I was trying to quote Tracy Jordan, Tracy Morgan, um, from 30 Rock where he goes, uh, freaky deekies need love too, Liz Lemon. Freaky deekies need love too. <laughs> freaky deekies. So I'm sure one of these uh you know what, I'm gonna bring this and give it to Rebecca. I'm sure one of these files tells me the password, but we're going to try to figure it out on our own because that's what we do. Um, half of the games I listed got re-released on other systems once Sega went belly up. I was reminiscing over fond memories of game marathons in high school. Yeah, um, yeah, there. that's right. Yeah, unfortunately, that really bummed me out as a Sega fan. I was really sad that the first system I was able to buy with my own money was a Sega system and that it was the last system Sega made. And it was like, what? Like, dude, I'm, I know I'm cursed, but I'm not supposed to curse other people. Um, three, nine, Six? Nope. Um. Oh, it's a... Uh Four, eight, three, <laughs> oops, No, that's not it. It's something to do with leeches. It's like uh, you have to cut them and... Oh, you know what? I know where the file is. I'm just going to get it. Stupid. I think it's... It, I know where the file is. Uh, that tells me. It's something about leeches being cut. You have to like... This guy had four leeches and then he... Then he only had four... Three leeches and then... And then he had nine leeches. And that's the password. Uh, we'll go with great gift. Um, and ho I'm hoping so. If I get beanbag chair next year, I'm going to give into it. <laughs> I was mostly sad it messed up the release of the Shenmue trilogy. I stayed up 80 hours playing that game before the end of Christmas break. Shenmue was addictive. Amen. This file. Oh, pick up the file, you illiterate. Here we go. So four. And then double their numbers, eight. And then six. So four, eight, six, right? And then three. What? Four eight six three. Is there another puzzle here? Four eight six 
Um, and thank you for Tracy Jordaning me, Seek. <laughs> You're welcome, Liz Lemon. Freaky Deekies need love, too. Um, four, eight, six, three. So I was close, because I guessed four, eight, six. I just... And I knew three was in there somewhere. I just did. I wasn't seeing that I had to put in four digits. I was thinking it was like a lock with three. And I uh, my head was stuck in three mode. But I know better now. Maybe I could use this. Worst best thing I ever did as a gamer. Um, the Shenmue trilogy. <laughs> the, the 80 hours. Uh, there's, I think there's only Fantasy Star Online on Dreamcast. That I game I put probably like over a hundred hours into easily. Fantasy Star Online. I love that game, and I actually played it online. Uh, I played. I had like the phone modem hooked up, and I just was when no one was home. I was like, all right, I'm I'm plugging all the phones. No one's gonna call and disconnect me. I'm gonna get this done. Um, and uh, yeah, that was my thing, man. Uh, and then uh, Final Fantasy Tactics. I think I played that game so much that uh, I probably put probably over 200 hours in that game because and Vagrant Story but those were on PlayStation 1 um, I put so many hours into I think Vagrant Story I only beat twice but um, Final Fantasy Tactics I easily beat that game 10 times and that's like a f at least 40 hours uh, maybe I think I one time I beat it in 20. I didn't do everything, but I think I beat it like once or twice in 20 hours. Um, but usually 30 to 40 hours for that game. I think my first playthrough of it took like 72 hours because I did everything. Um, everything I could do in that game, I did. All right, does this go down? I think I have to put the stupid... I should have left it downstairs. It's too large. Oh, okay. Oh, you know what? Um, God, I'm so stupid. I, I do not remember this part sometimes. I always, down in these tunnels, like in this underground area, I always blank on stuff. Um, I think I have to go turn the power on. Yeah, and when I say eight hours, I mean straight. I didn't sleep. I literally beat it two hours before I had to go to school. Oh, my God. No, I I haven't done that. I remember when, the, um, when Ocarina of Time came out um, on the 64. I, my friends and I had ocarina parties. So what we would do is uh, we had like a lot of us had like little 13 inch TVs. Um, I think one of our friends had like a portable TV. It wasn't like a laptop because th those weren't like a big deal or anything yet. Um, but uh, we would go over each other's houses and we would have like the five of us would um, hook up our our systems um, to, you know, you know to, uh, to like the TV. So I would have like my friend Matt would have his a little TV over here and he'd have his 64 hooked up to it and then I'd be on my TV and then my friend Chris would be over here on this TV um, and then we would have maybe someone down in the living room um, on a TV down there like yelling up the stairs at us and we would all just try to we were racing to see who could beat Ocarina of Time the fastest uh, but also do the most it was like like a just like a little friendly competition between all of us Um, so yeah, that was, that was good times. It was like, basically my first land party was on the Nintendo 64. <laughs> Tactics was great. I agree. Great game. I've only done over 72 hours of gaming twice and both times were in high school. Shenmue and Albert Odyssey Legend of Eldian. Uh, I don't think I played that one. Albert Odyssey? Shenmue I played though. This way. Roger. Let's give her this wait can she oh dang it we gotta switch characters this is dumb I'll go check over there no follow me okay. thank you so I got distracted by my dog being super cute
So I remember my first time playing through this, I did not even think to walk over in this corner and use this grapple gun again. I think there's one more time in the game after this that you have to use it. And this thing's annoying. It takes up two inventory spots and you gotta carry it around with you. It's so annoying. Echo, you good? Dang, he's drinking that water. You kids and your land parties, John Lee says, I never did beat Albert Odyssey. Whole reason I did was it was on the Saturn. I didn't have a save cartridge for a Saturn. Oh, yes. I don't know uh, what a land party is. Feels bad, man. <laughs> De dead eye. I love your face, dead eye. You know what a land party is. So, you know, you get a bunch of computers, usually uh, PCs hooked, hooked up in a similar room or in the same room. Um, and you're all playing the same games against each other like uh, I used to play um, what was that game called Counter-Strike uh, with my friends and uh, Unreal Tournament used to play that too Echo you good? Let's get out of here. Uh-oh. Monkey! Infected monkey. Ooh, ooh. How are you not infected with the T-Virus? Well. That happened. Oh no! The leeches unplugged my thing. Ow. Oh shit! Ow. You son of a bitch. Oh show! Dang! Oh! Oh, he still got me. Oh shit. Oh, he still got me. Alright, we gotta go, uh, <laughs> we gotta go plug everything back in. I got a crash, lovely people, happy, Mary. Really glad you liked your presency. I totally did, John Lee. Thank you so much. I really, really appreciate that. Uh, everybody, send John Lee some love for me. Uh, and again, if you can, give her a follow. Um, just a great, great human being. And yeah, I, I love the Swamp Thing stuff. So, so awesome. Brought back a lot of good memories. Uh, Albert Odyssey is a JRPG. There are multiple games with the name Albert Odyssey, but the one I am talking about was on Saturn. It was pretty good, too. Had voice acting, which was rare. At the time, yeah, I guess so. I think Blue Stinger had a little bit, uh, but just in the cutscenes, I think. Um, all right, so we're, we don't have a ton of health. We're going to save, though. Uh, here's what I'm going to do. We're going to end this episode. Um, I'm going to go get this hell spray back here, though, and use it. And then we'll come back and save. And we're going to end this episode. I I probably could go a little bit longer, but the truth is I am tired. Uh, we are nearing, like, the last maybe, like, two hours of the game. At least for me, at, like, the pace I'm going, probably take us two hours. So I figured, like, if I was an hour away from the ending, I'd probably just keep going. But, um two hours yeah I don't I don't want to push myself because I know I'll play for an hour and then stop and then be like all right we can play one more we can do one more and I'll and I'll push myself too much so um just for the sake of not wanting to do that let's uh we'll call it a night after this um I do appreciate everyone who came in here tonight I gotta get to bed myself I gotta I gotta cook when I wake up oh okay gotcha Good night. Hey, Lorenz, what is up? How are you? Merry Christmas. Oh, good to see you. Thanks for popping in. Had fun chatting with you too, Neko. And uh, X-Force, if you're still out there, I had fun with you, dude. How? Uh, I hope everyone has a Merry Christmas. 
um, yeah, we're going to save real quick and then we'll, we'll wrap, wrap this up. Um, and I think we'll all try to get some sleep tonight. Uh, I'm going to probably edit for like an hour. It's only like, it was 1130. I was hoping to be done by around midnight. Um, you're doing good. Oh, it's so good to see you. Thanks for popping in here. Um, I am going to, uh, I'm going to probably edit for the next hour, try to at least get my Venom vlog Christmas episode ready. And, uh, and then if I can get the, another, maybe one other episode ready, I'll, um, post them on YouTube tomorrow morning. And, uh, and the third one I may not even do now because we kind of opened presents on this and I kind of showed off cause it was mostly just like the Lego stuff. So I'll probably just, um, just post these videos on YouTube. <laughs> 